Okay, we're back in Colorado. This is a little town called Granada. Near the Colorado border, about 13 miles in from the Colorado border. And one of the reasons I wanted to film here was um, a little bit of history. <coughs> At the beginning of World War II, when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, got a little paranoid and decided to round up all the Japanese and put them in internment camps. And internment camps weren't prison camps, and they weren't concentration camps like the Germans had. They were, they called them internment camps. They were allowed to set up their own little governments, uh, schools, hospital there, did their own gardening, even provided their own law enforcement. They just let them set up their own little town, kept the fence around them, so you keep, keep an eye on them. They had guard towers. But uh, everything's pretty mild. I mean, they even had a baseball team compete against the local baseball teams. They had uh, local fairs and things. So they got along well with the community and survived. And uh, after the war was over, of course, they were let go. I'm not sure what happened to their original homes. A lot of these Japanese Americans were born in America. I mean, they were Jap American citizens, but if things got weird after they attacked Pearl Harbor. <laughs> so that would be like 9-11. Okay, let's go round up all the Arabs and put them in internment camps. You know, it would be the same thing. But we didn't do that. We're smarter now. But right or wrong way, it's something what we did, and it's part of history, it can't be undone. But I guess some of the descendants come back here every once in a while have a reunion. I was out here a few weeks ago and filmed, but I had the uh, waterproof case over the camera so you couldn't hear what I was saying. I was replaying the background, it was like, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't hear a word, so I deleted them. I got to walk around this little trail, I'm not going to do it today because it's too dang hot, but a little uh, visitor center thing up here. It's not staffed or anything, but there's a bunch of signs you can walk around, has pictures, and kind of tells the story. If you're ever out this way, it's worth a stop just to come see it. It's maintained a um, local high school kind of adopted the place. They kind of maintain it, which is kind of neat. That's their keeping history alive. I'm gonna drive up here a little bit. There's a few buildings. I think some of, I think, are, I think most of the buildings are replicas. But the, uh, it's a National Historic Landmark now. Uh, you can still see the foundations here. And then there's a few uh, little signs out here. Okay, the hospital was here, store was here, that kind of thing. Like this one here, let's see what this one says. This one says, uh, okay, it's talking about the tour. It has to actually have a, a map of the place where everything was. I'm not gonna drive around the whole thing. Just gonna go up here and make a loop. Wouldn't want to come here after a rain though, it'd be awful muddy. But 
looks like it's rained here recently, probably last night. <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, it's not too bad though. But it's a little lumpier than it was uh, when I was here a few weeks ago, so yeah, you can tell it had a pretty hard rain here recently. I'm gonna have to come grate this road again. Anyway, I see foundations off to the left of me, and there's another sign coming up. We'll see what it says. Okay, the Amati Farm. They got some pictures of the farming they did here. Yeah, there's some pretty good ruts here. I wasn't here a couple weeks ago. So yeah, it's had a pretty good rain. exact number I want to say like 14,000 Japanese were interned here side of the police station we just passed it and this one is side of the co-op store it's financed and operated by the internees This one up here is like a uh, replica of one of the buildings they lived in, basically kind of an open bay building. There's a site of the Amachi High School. Cost uh, 300000 to build and created a na national controversy. Why are we building a high school for the Japanese? <laughs> I'm sure that's what it was. But, you know, they weren't deemed enemies, but you just decided they just couldn't trust them because they were Japanese and there might be some loyalties to the homeland and might do some sabotage so well let's just put them in a place where we can keep an eye on them. That was the thought process back then. Then Chinese was the enemy, and, or the Japanese was the enemy, and Chinese was our friends. And now it's the other opposite way. It's Japanese are our friends, and then Chinese are our enemy. Imagine how amazing how things change over time. <clears throat> Let's see what the sign says. On guard. Okay, this is a. Um, I'm sure they just restored it or something. This is like what one of the guard towers looked like. <clears throat> I don't know how many of them there were. Probably tells back on that sign. There's a guard tower. A little searchlight on top. Keep an eye on everybody. Make sure everybody's sneaking out the fence. Another barracks, I think. There's a sign. We'll see what it says. It says cramped quarters. Okay, so that's what one of the uh, one of the barracks looked like. There's some pictures. I say, if you want to know more about the place, just come on out here. It's here. All kinds of signage. Look at the little visitor center back there. Tells the story. This is a water tower up here.
Okay, we will turn around here then. Since the road doesn't go any further. That's probably a pump house on that pad there. Yeah, this is what the road was like when I was here. We used to go this road was not too bad. Says, talks about the water tower. Yeah, it's a water tank. Okay. Now this water tank here, I don't think is part of it. I don't think. I could be wrong. No signs on that one. Anyway, just outside of town of Granada, Colorado, if anybody's interested. That's probably about all there is to see.